All right, guys, our internet out here isn't working too hot. So uh, we went ahead and picked up a Starlink. So we'll do a little unboxing. This is the latest and greatest one. Gina. All right, so here's the panel and it comes with a kickstand. So let's take that out. Here's what it looks like. It's a white rectangle. Kind of reminds me of, uh, of the dictator, that movie, when he's got the pointy missile, you know, and he's like, make it pointier. I feel like satellite dishes are supposed to be round with like an arm sticking in there and the, <laughs> and the end of the arm should be blinking. All right, so here's, I guess these are our instructions here. So that looks pretty simple. Can they see this real quick? Wanna zoom in on that? Yeah. This is what I assume is the router unit. And on the back here, it's got two holes. One is the uh, satellite hole and the other one is the power, the lightning hole. Here's the power brick. Here's the power brick cord. And here's the cord that goes outside to the satellite. Okay, so about how big are these, you think? I'll tell you right now, that's two inches in diameter. I'll tell you. <laughs> Just, you know, if the wife is asking, that's two inches in diameter. How long is the cord? Does it say? Um, I don't know. Not on the package. We would okay. have to stretch it out across your foot a bunch of times. Okay. So, on top of that, I bought mounting hardware because I didn't want to just use a kickstand. So I bought, I bought some mounting hardware. They sell it separately. And uh, once again, we've got an instruction card here, mostly visual. Okay. I guess they're trying to make it so that you can buy it anywhere in the world and kind of understand. It's kind of the IKEA instruction deal here. And here's all the stuff we get with it. We get plate here that looks like this is what goes on the di uh, dish itself. Here's a thing of hardware. Oh look, it comes with decent clips for the cable. Let's pop this open real quick. Oh, those are nice. Look at that. Screw clips for the cable to route it. Mm. And then a couple of lag bolts to mount it to the wall. Okay. So that's pretty good. This is uh, SpaceX silicone. <laughs> you can't get this just anywhere. You've got this is for roughing up the spot where you're gonna stick the satellite. Absolutely not what it's for. Okay. Here's a pole. Feels like this is metal. And this feels like metal. Clamp mechanism is nice. This is all very well built stuff. So mm. this is the little clamp mechanism. It just squeezes the pipe against the wall here with this screw. Here's the mechanism. Got it. This goes up here like this as a little trim it's piece. A, it's a nice little cover. It's a Not cover a so that. Or anything. I mean, I'll scratch your pack with it right now. That's it. There's our mounting hardware. That looks pretty self explanatory. And if it's not self-explanatory, we have this card here, which I will not be looking at. Okay, let's go over the tools you're gonna need to install your Starlink antenna on the roof. Starting over here, you're gonna need a drill, a quarter inch bit, a socket with a 14 millimeter, or you can get away with a 9 16th socket for your lag bolts. You're gonna need a quarter inch driver. And then the kit comes with some silicone. You need a level. If the kit doesn't come with enough with enough clips and mine came up short, just a couple clips, you can just use uh, coaxial staples from Home Depot or Amazon. It's nice to have a measuring tape so you can make your clips uniform distance. It looks a lot better. And a hammer in case you end up using some of these staples. And of course, you're gonna need your phone to do some of your setup. To make your hole through your pastor, you're gonna need a three quarter inch uh, bit. And I used a long spade bit, so I'd go right through the wall. And you're going to wanna order bushings um, or grommets and I'm gonna leave a link for those grommets to go through the wall. I didn't think of it. And uh, I ended up having to seal it with this stuff. So if you're in a pinch and you need a solution the same day, you can run down to Home Depot and get some of this. This is duct seal, it remains flexible. So that's all you need to install your Starlink. So let's get started. We just found out that the previous owners left the internet on or the company like just never shut it off. I'm not sure. But we, uh, we logged into it to see if it was a service we could use. And it's, it's fairly slow. I hope yeah. uh, 
Starlink is faster. Here it is. Stick your finger in it. No. You should stick your finger in that satellite. No. no you don't stick your finger in anything that someone... Just say no when someone asks you to stick your finger in it. You think this bird poop is slowing it down, you guys? Did you do that, Kylie? I did not do that. Okay. Buster, you okay? Buster, why are you over here screaming? Buster, let me give you a pet and a hug. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oops. 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 Oh. Is he purring? Let me see. You he ran away. Yeah, he's purring. He has one little black whisker on each side of his face. I noticed that. It's pretty cute. Come on, flies out here, relentless. All right, let's run a speed test on that Hughes net. Okay, it looks like we're getting 29 down and four up. I got your sunglasses. Okay, thank you. Just walk straight into them. I have them perfectly at face eye. <laughs> you stuck it. I was so worried you're gonna stick me in the eye. I was so worried you're gonna stick your eyes in the sticks. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to stick these sticks in your ears, not your eyes. So we got a ladder. This is a ladder that the land provided. Now the land did provide internet. It, it did. <laughs> and it works, but it's just. It's, I'm. Honestly, starting to kind of think it's a little bit magical. Well, it did. It provided internet, but the land provided base, base internet. Like, you know, you can't expect... It never goes... The land never... I mean, the truck... Provides, like, a luxury. The, the, no, yeah, the truck it provided was an XLT, not a Lariat. You know? <laughs> it's, but it's good. It works good. And it's just that if you're going to do YouTube, you got... You need Lariat-level internet. All right. Let's grab this free ladder. Ah, <laughs> it's a really hang good on. Ladder. The, there's a lot of land in the ladder right now because it was laying in the dirt. Hang on. <clears throat> Don't shoot it at the window. Hang on a second. My land ladder is it's, stuck. Oh, I know what it needs. There's a little Hang kick. on. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Ah! Hang on. He doesn't have his work boots on. And this land provided this stick for fixing the land ladder. Oh, that actually hurt my toe pretty good. Stick is hot. Are you sure it's supposed to slide that way? Yeah, it slides up. I... Ah, my toe. Hurting. Did you really hurt your toe? Yeah, my big one, my big toe, my biggest one I got. Well, we need you to have toes. All right, well. Why'd you do that? So I, I didn't mean to. I mean, I didn't mean. I meant to hit it with the bottom, but I got the toe. Here, here's a pallet. Look, we needed something hard to bounce this on, and the land just. Right now, I turned around and here was a pallet. There it goes. You know what it was? It's because I made fun of the land's internet. That's what it was. So, now, you, now you have to make like this. So it took away its internet. I mean, it's ladder. It probably needs like, and it needed sacrifice, such as your toe. My toe's feeling okay again. So for, for everything to balance out again. I don't know, that's not real stable ground though. So I need a flat spot to put my ladder. So what we'll do is we'll just move, we'll dig a flat spot. Let me send a snake out of this hole onto my foot. And do steady spaghetti. Okay, there we go. That looks good. Now it's locked in place. Okay. Okay. Oh, the ladder's facing the wrong way. It's all going very well. 
Where's all my Starlink stuff? Oh, I fell in one of those holes. I keep forgetting to grab a tool belt. So I keep just not having a tool belt. So right now, all we need is this thing. And we need the lag bolts. Lag bolts here and our SpaceX juice. Okay. And then we're gonna need a 13 millimeter or 9 16 socket will fit these lag bolts. Either one. Okay. Oh, it's lying. It's uh, not 13 millimeters, 14 millimeter. <sighs> okay, hang on. Sorry, you guys. It's 9 16 or 14 millimeter fits the lag bolts. So, just so you know, 13 millimeter doesn't fit. Give me a second. Okay, I'll see you soon. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'm only down one toe. I'm still 90% up. Where's our space bolts at? They're in there. You already took them out. Okay. All right, so check this out. 14 millimeter, fits really tight. 9 16 is only slightly looser. So before you climb the ladder, you want a quarter inch drill bit and a drill. You want your space bolts and your space juice a level, this thing, and a marker, and a wrench that we showed you earlier. Just a wrench here with okay. a 14 millimeter. So those are the things you're gonna need before you climb the ladder. So stick all those in your pockets. Okay, be careful. It's, it's all good. It's the worst that could happen. We fall in the sand. We Quick. fall on the pallet or the wing. Or on a snake. Snakes don't like when. Or on me. Snakes don't like when you fall on them. This doesn't stick because this must be aluminum. Well, I mean it's space stuff, right? So mm -hmm. it wouldn't use steel. So we'll stick it here. All right. So we're just tracing our bolt holes. We'll just make sure our bolt holes are roughly vertical. It looks like there's a little bit of slop in the slots, so you can make a fine adjustment afterwards. Huh, I was thinking, actually, I wonder, see how there's a ridge right here? Mm -hmm. If we put it right under that ridge, it might get slightly less water. Hmm. When you're on a ladder, you want to lean over as far as possible. To one side or the other. Come on. Now wear safety glasses or sunglasses if it's bright outside. Okay, that was pretty good. There's a little piece of foil covering the opening because uh, it's probably aluminum foil because it's space. All right, so we're gonna squirt some face juice, space juice in these holes here, kind of forcing it in the holes so that our siding here doesn't get all weird with water. So this thing is slotted on the bottom so we can put in our bottom bolt before our top bolt or before our bracket. The satellite's going to be the most structural thing of this house. <laughs> That's looking pretty good there. Now let's start a top bolt. Come on. Come on. Does that look straight up and down to you? Buzz my bugs. Or is it canted like that? I can't tell if it's tilted or... Or you're tilted? The house is tilted. It's tilted. I got space juice all over this thing. Gosh darn it. Do you have well, a... I don't have anything. Do you, can you rub it into your hands? Hang on. No, it's... All right, look, you may go get something? Hang on, I'll just rub it right here. Yeah. You're making the birds mad. So our bracket's up. You think it's gonna hold in the wind? Yes, it looks, it looks crooked as hell. Oh yeah, it's off a lot. It's because I was leaning over so damn far, I couldn't look it straight on. Yeah, yeah. Oops. S looks good. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect, you guys. 
You, I can't show you because the level fell, but... If you throw this away, it's then it's good. Then it's perfect. You could stop chasing the bubble. Is it tight? What's that noise? Hang on. Is the dust devil coming? Come on. Okay, it's gone. Look at it, held up yeah. through the dust devil. <laughs> Don't let me sit down with the SpaceX juice in my back pocket or it might, might seal me up. Oh no, that would be tragic. So there is wiggle room in case you don't get the holes perfect. Oh, okay, cut. I gotta get my hat. Oh. What, are you, what are you doing? Winterizing your hat. I don't want you to catch a cold. <laughs> You're covering the vents on my trucker hat? <laughs> yeah. How else are you gonna winterize it? <laughs> What's going on with your shirt? That's way too small. What do you mean? No. This is my Mooney shirt. Well, it's my Mooney shirt now. You gotta... Is it, is yeah. it, is it right up if I put my arms up? Yeah, you gotta oh. fix something else. I don't really wanna wear a duct taped hat or a belly button shirt. I wish I had some more clothes. Here's an old pallet. Oh my gosh, I think something's behind that pallet. Wow, there's a bunch of t-shirts left in here. The land just provided all this, all these clothes. Here are the winter clothes hat. Wow, that one doesn't have a bunch of vents in it or <laughs> duct tape. Let's see Ooh. it. And the, and the sweater. You got a sweater suit. And I think- You won't be cold. The land provided it. Wow, let me see that. How cool is that? What else did they, it provide? <laughs> the land provided this shirt too? That is a great design. <laughs> that is cool. Oh my gosh. That's pretty cool too. And a shirt your size? All right, so I don't have to wear a tidy, a tight shirt. And a zip up? Wow, that is cool. Let me see that. Let me see that very, let me see this one again. Hold that one out. That's a cool one. Remember this, this is kind of like the time I found that truck, our oh, truck yeah. behind that pallet. That that's, reminds me of that. That's weird. That is. And the <laughs> tractor when we found that behind the pallet. Remember that? Hang on one second. What did you look over there? Okay. It's a snapback. What was going on in here? Ooh, got a little mark on the arm. That's nice. It's not warm enough, so I'm gonna put this on. Okay. Okay. You know, if we were to get some copies of these made, people could buy these for themselves and it could help support the channel. What do you think of that? Yeah, I wonder if anybody else has thought of that. I'm so excited, I'm gonna put this on right now. And you guys can grab this stuff and it'll help keep the channel going. He'll pre-wear every shirt so that you'll get the most the comfy, worn-in shirt. It's a full experience. You guys will be able to smell the ranch, the smells of the ranch. The shirt fits It's a perfectly. zip up. Look at oh that. yeah, that's Show nice. That. Wow. Let's try this zip up hoodie. <laughs> well, that looks pretty wow, good. Wow, you look fancy. What design do we have on the back of this one? A tractor. Ooh. That time we found the tractor. I might be able to even operate the, jack the tractor in this jacket. Oh. Or do you think John will get mad? Should we send one to John? Probably should send one to John. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. What? Okay. Okay, so we got our instructions. I mean, I could figure it out, but I don't want to keep having to refigure it out. So 
we're going to do here is you don't want to put your satellite in the dirt. So what we're going to do here, the wind will hold that against the fence. So you want to find yourself a nice soft tire, preferably Bigfoot brand here, and uh, set your satellite on that. All right, so now we got to get rid of this thing right here. So we're going to pull up on this thing, this latch, see it? Yep. And then we're going to pull, slide this out. I'm just going to keep doing that until it comes out. There it goes. Okay. Check that out. Zoom in. Made in USA. Pretty cool. Mm. So we're going to go in here and let's grab this thing. This thing goes in here like that, right? We've got to run the cable first. Okay, let's make sure both ends of the cable are the same. That looks the same as this one. So it looks like it's unisex. Okay, let's see which way the gold things are down. So the gold things are downwards like this. So it's gonna plug in like that. So we're gonna just stick this through here and we're gonna plug this in. We're gonna make sure it's all the way in until it clicks. There, all the way in. Now, we're gonna guide our wire through the little channel it's got here. You guys see under here how it's a little channel? Right here in the middle, just like that. So I'm gonna guide my wire right there. I'm gonna double check that my plug is seated because that's a problem if you don't. Okay, that is seated. Now let's just go ahead and push this in. Now our mount is on. Okay, it was upside down. Okay, we got our wire run through there. We got the satellite plugged in. We plug it in. So we gotta, we're supposed to run it through the pole first. So I've already made mistakes. See why I brought the instructions out? Here's our pole. Let's pull our wire out. Okay. Okay, so, so trying again here, we run our wire through the pole. We're gonna see how strong this satellite is in the wind. Now, I don't mean the wind blowing the signal away. I mean it blowing the physical thing away, the satellite, okay. So, Push this back in. Now we can push our pole. How does our pole go in here? Does it go like that? Is it the whole side first? It goes like this. See this notch oh, here? Nice. I think. Oh yeah, so it has a dot. See this dot? Mm -hmm. See this dot? That's to communicate mm. dot on dot. Feel anything like locking in. Oh. Okay heard something lock in or something cracked. Ooh, that's gonna get away. We're yeah, never gonna see let me, it again. Let me grab it, let me grab it. What if you put a rock on it or something like that? What you gotta do is grab this rock right here. That land. specific rock. That rock. Okay, that paperweight rocks. <sighs> and then we put the clippy plate and then it comes out. Oh, the wire comes out the side here. See it? Oh. Oh. My gosh. <sighs> Goodness. Okay, so well. let's, here, I'm gonna show you guys the trick here. So what we're gonna do <laughs> is <laughs> pull this out. We're gonna make sure that this is plugged in. So plug this in first. Let me tell you why. I pushed it down on my satellite and you shouldn't be doing that. Pushed it, see all those clicks we heard now? It's because I didn't have it locked in place. That would have been very bad. Look, here's another one that's not locked in. That's locked in now. So here's what we're looking for. Can you see here? These things? Mm -hmm. There's four of them, and they should be clicked into the pipe. All four are clicked into my pipe now, okay? I'm showing you what not to do. Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna unplug this again for the third time so the connection will be nice and loose. So, pull this out. Then we're gonna run this out of here. Now we're going to put it in through this hole. Now it's going to come out through here. Now we're going to plug this in again. Should uh, should we look at the instructions? Yeah, why don't you just double check? Okay. <laughs> Top is locked in. That goes in. That goes in. Now we're good. This is the right way now. I'm almost positive. Okay, let's stick this in here. That's bottomed out.
You know how I like to bottom out, right, babe? Okay. Okay. What is that? It's a bug. He's he's trying to he's trying to he's trying to access our Wi-Fi. Okay, look, I got a tire all over our brand new satellite. If you leave this Bigfoot tire residue on here, you're only going to get Monster Jam reception. So we need to get all this off of here. This is going really well so far. There we go. Okay. Now we feed our cable down through here. Like that. Are you sure? Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> here, Such here, a butt head. Give me the end of it. You take this end here. Feed it to me. They don't know about Starlink. The reason why it's so fast is this wire is long enough to go all the way to space. It's really just a hard line. But you have to you have to rope a satellite. That's the hard part. But that's why he put them in low Earth orbit so that that would be easier. That doesn't sound right, but I don't know enough about it to dispute it. So we'll leave this here hanging here as a service loop. Okay. Hey. You did it. Okay, so we don't have this tightened up at all. So let me tighten this just a little bit so that the wind doesn't blow it away. Here's our snappy plate. Goes right here. And this will hide any mistakes you made while putting in your bolts or whatever. It doesn't look stupid. Why is that not clipping into place? Okay. Did I do this wrong somehow? That's decorative anyways. All right, well, that didn't really snap into place. It shows it just going straight up in there. What up? It's alien technology. What's this have to do with him? Okay, I'm gonna stick this right here. Project complete. Here's the clips they gave us, which are pretty nice. This came with the mounting kit. Do you want to hold some of these in your mouth for me? No. Okay. Kind of need uh you need a step ladder. Sort of. Maybe not. Let's see. You were telling me earlier today that you should stretch. <laughs> that I should stretch more. So let's try this. Oh gosh. Did I grab the wrong size? I can't believe I grabbed the wrong size. I'll be right back. Okay. These are quarter inch, by the way. I grabbed the wrong size. Ugh. Buster, twiddly fingers. All right, let's find a stepping block. This one's got dirt. It's perfect. Now notice the land did not provide a deluxe stepping block, like a whole one. 60% of a stepping block. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna give this a drip loop here so that water doesn't follow it into my roof here. This will get easier now because the roof gets closer to the ground as we go along. Sometimes. Sometimes. We should go get my stepping chair. That'd probably be the best. You want your, you want your stepping chair? I can go get it. You want to go get it while I try to struggle with this next one? Yeah. Something feels weird over here. Your throne. All right, well, it's not my throne. My throne has a hole in the middle. Oh. Wanted to get a tape measure to give this a little bit of uniformity. I'm gonna go about two feet for now. <laughs> I like your filming position. 
So I drew a mark two feet on the paint here. I drew a mark two feet from the last clip. Yeah. On the paint, and then the wind blew the paint away. Oh. <laughs> hey, you're back. Stop it. Come on. Who is it? The bee. He be bothering me. My stepping chair is making noises. It's probably fine. So these clips that come with this, you guys, you can kind of pull the wire snug a little bit, and then the clip kind of grabs the wire to mm. stop it from sagging along. Mm. Wire snug, then the wire doesn't come sticking down. Nice. So they're actually pretty nice. Uh-oh. Look at See the split for oh. me? Yeah. What kind of cheap chair is this that it can't withstand a little bit of sun? Do I just hit red or nothing? Uh, send it a voicemail. Straight to voicemail, Chris. Don't. Enjoy my voicemail. <laughs> he gets all mad about my greeting because it still talks about vending. <laughs> gets all mad every time he calls. <laughs> Let me have some clips. Do we have much more? We have boxes of them. Okay. Or just one box, you mean? Yeah. Each one of these only gets us two feet down the road, so. I only got like two more feet to go. What? I gotta come down the wall, too. Okay. Ooh. So we're all right. We're all right. It's sinking. Everything's cool. Just has to go back here a ways. Okay, so what are you doing every... Every three ribs. Every three ribs? And it's coming to what? I don't Do you know, know exactly where? No. It's like pretty close to this window. Let's just call it Harry, here. Harry, will you feed me more wire real quick, actually? Oh, goodness. Oh, I'm the one. We we feed me some more wire. Come on. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to like either make adjustments now. No, we're good. I okay. have other clips from the cooler. Okay, but they're not as good. Well, I'll I'll, I'll change them out. Like five years. Is down this now. okay if it touches the ground? This part could touch the ground, not the connectors. You're dragging the connectors. I was the dirt. not. <sighs> the gold-plated connectors. You're like dirt. You will, like imagine the most. You'll take an event, and then you'll exaggerate it in your mind. Wow. Why don't you go do the barn documentation? I think he sent me away because he's gassy. That's probably why he's cranky. The barn. I like these days. I can't even look at it. It's making me sad. We will get to it, but we needed our toilets fixed first and electricity and internet and gas. And... I'm gonna try to get a double without moving the standing chair. Looks like it twists for your convenience. The chair? Yeah. It does, it kind of, it moves with you. It doesn't fight you conforming to the property, this chair. And it keeps you just high enough out of the snakes. Look at this pipe, I just noticed. Yeah, that's been, I've noticed that before. This pipe here? Yeah. Better not wiggle it too much because it's been out in the sun a lot. Yeah. It's just one of those, you know? It's on the side of the house. It's a side, side pipe. This is our other side pipe. Man, if the EPA knew about all our side pipes. Let's see. This thing is like, wants to be in the dirt. I couldn't have picked a better time to stare right directly into the sun. Like there was no better time than this. No time like the present. 
time. Okay, let's uh, let's go blow a hole through the wall here. Okay, I want to put our router in this corner here. So let me move this stuff. Now only move the stuff the minimum amount you have to, and don't lift anything. Just slide it. And only watch your husband do it. Here's a three quarter inch spade bit. This is a Harbor Freight set for 18 bucks. So I'm gonna grab this one out of here. And we're gonna use our super duper knife here. But we don't need to scrape. Finding that my life is a 10 to one scrape to cut ratio, or cut to scrape ratio, I don't know how you wanna say it. What's your guys' life like? What percentage of the time are you scraping versus cutting? Or are you just scraping by? Okay, so we got our three quarter inch bit. So we wanna install our coax about 15 inches from the ground. This isn't really coax, but whatever. Okay. Here's a stud right here. Wait a minute. Stud. <laughs> At least 24 inches on center. Hang on. No. There's gotta be one in the middle here. Let's not worry about that right now. <laughs> These <laughs> You're supposed to have more studs than that. So here's the other thing I'm worried about is he's got an outlet here and an outlet over there. Okay, what I'm worried about blowing a hole right here is exactly 15 inches is that outlet is about 15 inches. So I'm gonna go higher than that in case the wires are running like this through the studs. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go about 18 inches. Got insulation. That's more than I oh, thought I'd get. That's good. Okay, the reason why we're using a three quarter inch bit is Starlink sells grommets that fit in a three quarter inch hole. Now they don't send them to you automatically. You gotta buy them separately. And I didn't know that. And they didn't really walk you through that. I did buy the pole mounting kit because all the satellite comes with is a kickstand. So I bought the pole mounting kit and that came with the things for the wires, but nothing to go into the wall. So you're on your own. So make sure that you order the grommet kit. I did not. So now we're just gonna go outside here. And we're outside. Okay, mm -hmm. there's daylight outside. So the good news is, I think there's about half as many studs as there's supposed to be here. Well, I don't really want a lot of studs around here. I like being the only stud around here, really, you know? So I'm fine with that. Okay, look at this walkway. I could just flow right out of here. Look, I was going this way anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered, but I like to have the option. <laughs> Buster's just watching this all happen. He's like flat against the ground. There's our hole. There it is. Put your finger in there. No. What did I tell you about that? <laughs> Anytime anybody just... tells you to stick your finger anywhere, you should jump on the chance, guys. <laughs> That's what I say. The wife has a more boring philosophy. <laughs> Let me have more wire than Relax, that. okay? I, you're pulling it tight so I can't unwind it. Quit, you better quit getting lippy or you're going to end up riding in the back of the truck. What is it stuck on? No, don't break it. Okay, well, don't fuss with it. Uh, Get all fussy. One of these days, straight to the moon. Oh, it's 10 times cooler out here. I don't know why I'm over here anymore. Oh, would you give me more clippies? Are you surprised the box is on the ground again? 
They better not be dirty. I put a little mark and then the paint blew away. <laughs> <laughs> and I marked the paint, yeah, and the paint, the marker had disturbed the paint just enough so that the next gust of wind took the paint with it. The land took its paint back. Uh-oh. It's all right. I'm sinking. It's gonna last just long enough. These chairs are stronger than you think. The land didn't like you talking about its paint. <laughs> I'm worried its paint has lead in it. Probably does. This is my work wedding ring. I would have saved a lot of money if I'd have just bought you that one to begin with. <laughs> Probably don't need your steppy chair anymore, huh? Yeah, getting, getting close. How many we got left? Two? Two. It's exactly the number we need to be too short. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to use a couple cooler clips from the cooler project. Where's that little tape measure go? I don't know. So fingertip to elbow crack right here. As long as it's uniform, it'll look good. Hang on, my elbow crack has changed because I'm, I'm not stretched out. It's not going to work. Okay. I think it's fake. <laughs> Drilled myself just a little bit. <laughs> now, let me stick the wire through the hole. Okay, let's pull it real stiff. Okay. Got it. Got it. Or I'm feeding this into the wall. <laughs> okay, so we need to leave a drip. Well, we don't have any clips anyways. We gotta go get some clips. Oh, yeah. Let's go get a hammer and some clips. All right, you're so focused today. No, it's because I'm almost done. Have you guys ever heard the expression, uh, a horse going back to the barn? <sighs> like a horse, if you're on a long ride, is tired. But as it starts to get closer to its barn, it realizes where it is and it starts to pick up the pace and it gets its <laughs> second wind. And that's what I am right now. I've never heard that expression. Well, you've probably not ridden a lot of horses. Okay, so. I've ridden me. a horse like, so it was, like five times. You what? I've ridden a horse like five times. Five whole times. You better, better not, not since we've been married. What? Let's try these uh, coaxial staples. Take a look at those from the cooler project that we used for the quarter inch line. Let's check it out. Fits, fits okay. It's a little floppy, but it's all right. Floppy's better than nothing. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put a drip loop here so that if any water gets, starts following our wire down, it can't just follow it straight into the house. So That's we got good. a low spot on it. Okay, so what I was telling you guys earlier is, if you order a Starlink, order what's called the wall pass-through kit. It comes with two grommets and the three quarter inch spade bit. Now, I don't know why they wouldn't send you that because 99% of insulations are going to need a wall pass-through. So I didn't order it. I only found out about it today and none of the grommets they sell at Home Depot are gonna work. We have to resort to something else. Did you bring that out with us or not? Bring one out, thought you had it. Oh, okay. I'll go get it. Hurry. You, you stay here, do that. Okay, I'll do something autistic while you're gone. <laughs> Artistic. Remember when I got home, had all my arms full and you just had like your cup? Your little I don't even from think, your restaurant I don't even something. think I had that. I think you just had the key to the car. You just walked in. Well, let me, let me have comfortable. that. Comfortable. Thanks for well, taking forever. It was still in the car. And, um. Okay. That's why it took so long. That's All why I couldn't find it. Are you done yapping? Since we don't have the grommets and we need to seal this up, go get yourself some of this if you're in a pinch. Now, those grommets are good because you can install them after the fact. They're split. They have to be split because they have to, they can't, you can't pass that giant plug through there. So later I could remove this stuff and slide my grommets in with a little bit of silicone. Now an air conditioning guy years ago told me it was called monkey poop. And I've been calling it that ever since. It's Play-Doh basically, and it, but it stays flexible forever, which is nice. It's adult Play-Doh. Right. So if you want to play with Play-Doh, but 
you're too old and you think everyone will make fun of you, just get pretend, some duct you're, pretend you're doing a project. Go to Home Depot. And get some duct seal. Yeah. We're going to push it into the hole here to kind of make a seal. And then we're going to make it look like a dinosaur afterwards. <laughs> Once we get the grommets, we can, we can have it and we can play with it. So you think that'll keep the critters out? Yes, I do. Problem is, it's not sticking to the wall very good because the paint is coming off so readily. So that's what we got for now, guys. It looks real good. Okay. Are we done out here? We're done out here. Should we grab that other stuff? No, uh, no, let's just leave all this stuff. Wait, okay. Give that stuff back to the land. whole thing. Don't hit my fridge. So let's just roll a roll a seal here. This looks great. I'm just trying to stop the bugs. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of bugs out here. Look how strong the wife is. She chopped down that tree and made that table. I saw the tree fall down. Someone sliced it, and then my dad fixed it up into a table. I found two zip ties, mm, okay. mix match. So here's this zip tie. This one's okay. This one's been used before, but we can probably push, push this part out. Oh my goodness. And then we can use it again. What's wrong with this loop? Why is it so ugly? I'm losing interest fast. So let's, uh, Let's use our big tie, our used one here. Hope this thing rings a lot, a lot. Okay. Perfect. Here's the router. Here's the power brick. It's weird they put weather tight seals on all this stuff. I guess if you take it out mobile mm. and it gets a little rain. This is a power hole. Just plug that in here. Bottom that out. Here's our data hole to the satellite dish. And look, just so you guys know, if you guys want to hardwire this to your pooter, you got two ethernet holes there. Or if you want to use a different router and just use this as your LAN or WAN or whatever it's called. Okay, WAN. Hopefully this outlet has power. Hopefully it does. I heard a pop, okay. so that's good. Okay, I see this thing is booting up. Okay, let's bring up our Star Link app. Okay, it says I have a clear view. Okay, we installed the wall mount. Oops, this is a guide. Here's a video guide. <laughs> okay, well, I'm done with that. Mount is installed. My Starlink is plugged in. Okay, so let's go find it. So all I did was I pulled down my settings, went to Wi-Fi networks, clicked on Starlink. Okay, so now we're here. Starlink paired successfully, continue. Starlink unreachable. Let's try this again. When you connect to your Starlink, since it doesn't have internet, your phone may switch away, so you have to click on stay connected when you connect to, the, to it. Okay, so let's go align our Starlink. It says it's all goofed up. And Let's go align our Starlink because it says it's all goofed up. Kylie must have been talking when I was aligning it. So mm -hmm. I don't have time for your stuff right now, Buster. Feed you in just a little bit. He likes to meow at you and then when you go to pet him, he likes to run away. <laughs> it's the best. Come stay in my hut. It's safe. <laughs> Come hang out in my hut. You can park your helicopter in here. So let's hit align Starlink. Okay, so it looks like it needs to go towards the east a little bit. Okay, well check this out. Is that when it's perfect? You, uh, it says it's aligned, but it's not perfect looking. Oh, perfect. Let's lock it in right here. Oop, that tweaked it out of alignment. got teeth in this thing 
So I have to basically choose between two notches that aren't quite perfect. Okay, you guys, so that's as good as I can get it with the notches in there. And it says Starlink is aligned. Cool. You got it. Let's, let's bring down this ladder so the wind doesn't blow it into the satellite. Oh, good idea. Now it says view obstructions. Let's hit that. I just noticed this thing is building a map of all the satellite paths. How cool is that? As they're shooting across the sky. There is no obstructions out there. I can tell you that right now. Cool. Hey guys, I'm up here with the Starlink antenna. Hey, is this normal? Look at the seam here. Look at the seam. I can't push it in. I've tried to squeeze it pretty good. I don't want to break it. Is that normal for the corners to be popped out on these? Or did I hurt it when I went to stick the stick in there while it was sitting in that tire? Yeah, the Starlink is checking for obstructions, but I can tell you right now there just isn't any. So let's continue with the setup. Okay, it turns out you don't have to wait for this obstruction map. And uh, I was messing with it, so I restarted it. So you don't have to wait for that. I don't have any obstructions that I know of. We'll check back on that later. So I hit the back button and now we just have to configure our, our Wi-Fi and update it. That's it. So super nice. And you can do a speed test here. So now we just need to set up our network. So let's do that first. So here, all we're gonna do is enter our network name and the password we wanna use. Pretty self-explanatory. I'll go ahead and enter that and we'll be right back. Okay, I've submitted my network name and password. And now we're just waiting for it to apply the settings. Instead of loading bars, who thinks they should have like fun little cartoons, like with a plot and an ending, you know what I mean? Like something. Mm -hmm. My attention span is not good enough for spinning circles and progress bars anymore. Mm -hmm. I did like the slices. It should just open up like Instagram and play shorts. No adjustment is necessary. Okay, good. So now, okay, so we're all connected. Everything's good. Okay, let's run a speed test. We ran one earlier. Let's run three. Oh, that's different. That's a lot better. I'm gonna see what our up is. Oh yeah. So we got 31235. This thing's blazing. Oh, a little slower there. Upload, see that? Mm hmm Star moved in front of it. No, no, they're closer than the stars. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. All right, it just keeps getting slower and slower. If we keep running this test, we'll be slower than the HughesNet. Oh, yeah. I don't know why it's slowing down like this. Okay, okay let's look at an ad real quick and then about tractor stuff, because I've been looking at tractor stuff. All right, so let's look at our results here. Here's all our results in one chart. So here's all the Starlink, 312, 295, 158. And then here's our HughesNet, 18, 17, 11. And then here's our upload, 35, 26, 22, and all these are in the fours. Wow. So what is that, five times faster on the upload, which will help a lot for, for uh, Herbomatic. And uh, what is this, 10 times faster almost? almost 10 times faster on the download. You guys, I just wanted to show you, Starlink is no slouch on hitting that payment. Look at this. Your payment has been processed instantly after hooking up that satellite. <laughs> They're on it. <laughs> all right, let's go see how much power all this old stuff was using. Call it 475. Put that stuff out of its misery. I don't know, it feels like we saved 25 watts.